All right, the very first rumor that I want to address. If you discontinue the gym, you're not going to become fat. As a new owner, this is not going to happen. For instance, take my bike. All right, very simple analogy here. If I keep doing regular service, if I make sure it's properly fueled, its efficiency increase will increase, its power increase will increase, its torque increase will increase. And the same applies to your body, man. If you do the same shit to your body, if you fuel it properly, if you give it the right kind of nutrition, and if you make sure it's active on a daily basis. It's going to have better metabolism, which is the same thing as fuel economy, and the power and torque will increase, which is the same thing as the strength and your performance. Not just physical attributes, from mental attributes as well. You'll feel good. You'll feel better. Even if you stop working out, you will never get back to ground zero. So you'll always surpass where you started. So ye yad me rakho. You are not going to become fat once you stop the gym. Since the whole hundred day diet challenge was a hit, we have decided. to introduce the all new 28 day diet challenge wow that sounds appealing and uh, sir uh, you are a visionary oh, but why 28 days why 28 cause all months matter simple as that that sounds like a plan and how are we going to tackle it what's the new approach it's simple we do something which no one has ever done before no carbs after 6 pm You need to understand something. When it comes to fitness, there is no one-fit solution. Simple as that. What works for me will not work for you. And the same example applies to all these gimmicks happening around the world right now. एक तो it's that ten thousand step challenge thing. I'm 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 not. I'm, it's not like I'm hating it, but let's just say that if you're a twenty-year-old fit person, you can do better than that. Or if you're someone who's just getting started and have not done any sort of physical activity before, then ठीक है try it. But apart from that, I don't see why these young kids are trying to do this 10k activity thing. You do realize that it's eight kilometers, and you're just going to walk eight kilometers, and it will end up taking two or probably more than that, two hours or two and a half hours of your daily time. Let me suggest you something. Don't do 10k. Don't do 5k steps. Try running for five minutes. Do it on a daily basis, and. If you are to drastically drop your weight, see how this will work for you. The other gimmick which is quite popular, where uh, it's it's usually an advertiser lose X Y Z weight in A B C days. Now, first of all, who says you want to lose so much? Ask yourself, do you really want to lose weight or do you want to gain weight? What's your plan? Or your plan is something entirely different. It's probably non-aesthetic for that matter. Fitness is marketed in a manner which looks short. brisk and appealing all right even when you walk into the gym you'll see all this fitness transformation sir ye dekhiye ye client has gone from 112 kilos to probably 60 kilos he'll also be a trainer beech mein aake sir maine inhe kam karaya question when we see such transformations it's not it's usually not done within 3 or 4 months it takes longer than that point number 3 let's talk about the big players in the fitness industry let's start off with someone who has been in the news for the last few weeks mr baba ramdev thanks to him lot of people have been motivated and yes he has started the whole yoga trend in india but does it give him the license to say whatever the fuck he wants just to sell his product for example the recent corona thing in yeah you are promoting a healthy drink but you can't go out there and say that it will cure the virus of your system lot of people follow you lot of people look up to you make sure you get yourself actually right now let's talk about someone who is more aligned to our youtube industry and uh, let's talk about this legend rohit khatri i tried giving an intro like him but i couldn't cuz only rohit khatri can do this or koi nahi kar sakta hmm so where do i start tell the subscribe nahi kiya to subscribe button pe click kare aur sath sath bell icon ko dabaye agar aap mera channel abhi tak subscribe nahi kiya to subscribe button pe click kare aur sath sath ghante ko dabaye you also went to the extent of selling a bed mattress in the name of good recovery yeah i know i'm i'm sure you're confused kaise ho sakta house recovery and bodybuilding related to bed mattress so there was this video where he spoke about bed mattress for solid 5 to 6 minutes i mean okay you're getting paid and stuff theek hai you're getting endorsed but yaar thode to originality rakh lo kya ho jayega see this is the issue i have with the big players 
even uh, Tarun Gill, for example, yeah, we all respect him for how he exposed the steroid usage in Indian industry. But at the same time, there has been a lot of gimmicks where he has gone too far. For example, there was this video where he was just doing this. Apparently, this is going to give you a chiseled jawline. For real, you have so many subscribers, man. Like you think people are going to buy that shit. And trust me, some people do. Agar aisa banda aapko bolega, mm, so some of you might actually think so. I just tell you again and again, uh, there is easy access to internet these days. Whatever anyone tells you out there, don't believe. Even me, for example, don't buy whatever I say. Just put in some efforts. So Google kar lo. On the same issue, I need to address one more thing. There are a lot of people out there, a lot of big fitness players. And uh, these guys have been on juice or whatever it is substance they are on for probably 10 or 12 years and then they do this gimmick where they go to a doctor and they get their blood work done and they are drug free, they are steroid free what do you think, what are you trying to prove, look at you, it looks obvious that you have been on all sorts of gear what's your point, what are you trying to do, for what reason, okay you are not on anything right now but, but does it mean you have not been on steroids or whatever substance it is for the last 12 years? And that's how it is. This is how the trend is. Aap kisi bhi Hollywood celebrity trainer ko dekh lo, unka claim hoga ki uh, this is hard work, this is broccoli, spinach and chicken breast. Yeah, of course, all that goes into it. But you need to address all the factors that played an important role in your transformation. And taking even one of them out will not get you there. So this is a very big issue, the transparency does not exist. So I ask you guys, what are some of the common notions about the Indian fitness industry which really make you puke? And uh, let's start off with some responses. Alright, Ram Jangir says, Less knowledge or no knowledge and still most people own gym in our country and they give PT too. Well yeah, it sort of is a business at the end of the day and uh, I've seen this common trend where People don't know shit about what they're doing, what they're selling. It's just that they have the financial liberty, so they try to, you know, make it their own brand. Every other guy is an expert in terms of fitness. Oh yeah, you're right, there are a lot of people out there. I mean, someone who has even gone through a two, two months transformation thinks he's a fitness expert. I understand, okay, you tried something, it worked on you, but is it going to work on everyone else? I doubt, I highly doubt it. 900 calorie meal plan definitely makes me puke oh yeah trust me I, I don't get the points of this calorie meal plans like you cannot set a given calorie for an individual I might be on a cut on 1400 calories but you might be on a gain my metabolism is different from yours dabbe kha ke body banali it just cringes the fuck out of me when someone takes the credit away from you and say shit like this. Dabbe khage body banali. Itna asaan hai. Try doing it. Are you not having dabbas of fucking refined flour and you know uh, refined sugar on a daily basis? Lot of people are not aware about how supplements work. And there is retardness to a level where people compare protein powders to steroids. You need to understand. Zameen asman ka farag hota hai dono. Supplements are necessary to build a good body. I think uh, that's a question. He wanted to finish with a question mark. Anyways, so that brings me to my point number one. Are supplements really worth it? How many times have you been suggested by random people? Yeah, protein lelo. Have fucking green tea and uh, you'll become slimmer. Most of the times we forget to question the whole uh, scientific funda behind it and still plan to jump on the trend. The problem is we want to hear what you know, comforts us. Like, if I say something nice and comforting about you, you'll probably like me. And, I don't know, probably share my video. That reminds me, share, share, subscribe, and uh, do hit the like button, cause uh, I'm just throwing raw facts at you, unlike the delicated bullshit which is being spread out there. Two major researches which I wanted to share. First one, is whey protein necessary? Secondly, how much of it is necessary? I've seen two categories of people. The first one are the ones who completely neglect protein 
and only believe that a calorie deficit will take care of their cutting plans or whatever which is wrong because you need to understand something protein increases the production of ghrelin almond in your body which will indirectly impact your metabolism all right number two i've seen a lot of people out there who overdo their protein you need to understand that excess of protein is not going to make you buffer stronger or it's not going to get closer to your goal i would reckon somewhere around 1.4 to 1.6 so again you have bifurcations and when it comes to whey protein you have the concentrate isolate and hydrolate what the difference just the absorption rate don't ever think that drinking an expensive or superiorly branded protein is going to make you buff no it's the same protein it's the same process it's going to do the same amount of protein synthesis which any other protein did whey protein to chalo fir bhi theek hai you know what bothers me bcaa's and mass gainers do you actually think just three branch in amino acids is good enough to compensate for a proper diet clubbed with proper micros and macros bcaa's are still somewhat fine what pisses the most out of me is the mass gainers what is mass gainers just empty carbs you can probably just do good with couple of potatoes to make up for this mass gainers you don't need to spend so much let me tell you one thing very simple very basic and it's the most over line when it comes to supplements supplements are just meant to supplement your diet nothing can compensate for a poor diet simple as that these are supplements as the name goes they are only going to supplement your diet all right thanks for coming all the way i really appreciate it and uh, if you like the video like and if you think it's worth helping someone else give it a share and subscribe and uh, yeah do share it cuz people need videos like this tiktok ban ho gaya and uh, people are going to look out for quality uh, unfortunately i cannot make uh, videos on boys attitude versus girls attitude or i can't cry or dramatically like these guys but if you follow my workouts you're going to cry and cry as in cry in a good way you know so appreciate coming so far cheers have a good one i'll see you in the next one bye bye